together. Project 7, Mesa Gaming have gone back and forth all day long. It's going to be settled on frequency S&D. What are you feeling, Joe? It's a tough one. Uh, I think you have to go Mazer able to pull that one out. They won the first search and destroys with Yoda free with TSD already in this round number one. Sorry about the delay. Felt like one player maybe just uh, took a bit of a break. I'm not exactly sure what happened. But into this one, Project 7 now with a man advantage. I forgot once again that I was driving. And now one versus <laughs> <We> two. <laughs> will he find the first? Yes, he will. Now a 1v1. A big fan of Vivid as we... Uh, I explained he was doing some wild things there. Big fan. Let's go to his point of view. This Dex guy's got safe movement. Dexterity, dead silence here. The double stock. Quick draw grip. He's going to slide on in. Find him, I my told goodness, you, Will. Wills. Told you, he's my guy. He's my guy right here. I called that one. That's why we had to switch his point of view. He predicted that. Read it like a book. Which book do you think? The book of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Well, I was thinking Harry Potter destroy. Chamber of Secrets. I mean, um, yeah, I suppose that works too. It's a good one. Whew. Little kill the beat down. and Round one, done dusted. Project 7 are going to take that one. Are we going to see Mesa Gaming bounce back? Jumping on board with Vicious. Let's stay on board with him, see what he can do here. Maddox in hand. I was going to say stay on board with him. He's actually gone to a bombsite alone. So let's uh, flick things over. Who are you picking, Joe? Ooh, that's an easy one. I'm going to go with him. <laughs> <laughs> As he's able to push on up, throws that cluster, and all he's doing is getting that player back elbow away. But Supreme Agility does find a nice one. Look at the map control that Mazer Gaming has. They're just trying to set up a pinch. Vivid, that's a tough challenge with this saw, just trying to stay alive. You can see all of Project 7 inside this little circle. Still able to stay alive now at three versus three, making it a two versus two. They're able to push on out. That bomb still has to be defused. We'll see. Is Dylan going to jump on it? Doesn't look like it. I thought he was going to do it. He'd be pretty darn close. He'd probably have it if he would have just stuck to the fuse. Instead, ooh, almost misses the punch, but recovers. But now it's vivid in a one versus two. He's able to find an ICR. Just has to win the first gunfight. He needs to win it and go. Oh. Not able to do so. Dylan Rex, Rex right there. And the retake is successful for Mazer. Beautifully done there. Both players down to just about 10, 15 HP as they both use that stim shot. They both get it cancelled out. And we are going to see here Dylan Rex with the play of the game, stepping it up here at the end, finding himself a nice couple of kills. But either way, the search and destroy, I don't feel like it's going to be a dominating search and destroy. You can go back and forth all day long here in our first semi final of the 2K. Vivid had everything he wanted. He backed on up with that ICR, was in a very long range position, but instead, Dylan able to find a couple of kills, now ties it up one to one. Working on that Annihilator halfway already, and he's only in round number three. Dylan doing some uh, good amount of damage here. Four kills to his name already. And uh, could have overpowered here, bound by the B bomb site in a technical 3v2, but a little bit hesitant to push forward, trying to search for this enemy. A concussion in hand. Yeah, and they're just trying to force the other team to basically guess where they're at. But a nice stun in Vivid. Is he going to find the 30? Is Vivid with three kills on the board. But Noob's going on a bit of a late flank. Now a three versus two in favor of Project 7. Make it a one versus two. But they're going to have no idea where he is. Forces a one versus one. He was setting that up for this entire round. This is why they did that. So he could go all the way around, able to find a SOG. Vivid, or sorry, Hollow versus Noobs. And well, they're on the opposite side of the map right now. It looked like Hollow for a second there was reading it correctly. Still just backing it on up. What is he going to do? It's basically a 50 50 for him, and he's going to get this wrong as Noobs. Just going to go through that base, going to plant this bomb on the backside. And you can see that number nine on the other side of the map. He's going to have to rotate on through now. But he might find good timing. But it looks like Noobs might be ready for this. Here comes that rotation. It's all going to come down to this. Who's going to get the timing? Ho Ooh, Hollow just missed him. Hollow just missed him as well. So Noobs, he's still alive. But remember, this bomb is planted for that backside. None the wiser right now. But like you said, oh, planted for the backside. Him. Does he opt to go back through the window? Is he going to fake it? Looks like Hollow might have just jumped on the bomb himself. And I think he's going to see him. The head gets poked out of the top. And unfortunately for Hollow, I think he predicted maybe that he wouldn't challenge, jump straight on it, didn't work this time. 
So a couple of bad timings for Hollow and Noobs able to win that one versus one. But here's really the play of the game. Vivid's able to find three. Snaps on a two, has to reload. Dylan still very weak from the gunfight before and well, we'll see you later. Nicely done there, Vivid again, showing his dominance in respawn and search and destroy here. Heading into round number four. As we put another 90 seconds on that clock and get right back into this one. It looks like the bomb may be edging towards A and could mean Destiny's in a world of trouble. Yeah, Destiny right now, all he's going to do is he's going to see all these people here and he's just going to back on that. Might challenge one gunfight, but if there's an ICR near that platform or a Maddox, yeah, a bit of an overchallenge, especially after that first blood. I don't think there's any reason for that whatsoever. Your teammate finds a snipe. All you're doing in that position is just gaining information. Instead, you throw your life away, and now it's a four versus four for Project 7 with that bomb planted. Paladin as well, maybe not the best weapon. And yeah, well, you got this. that Mozu, Supreme Agility, able to find one, but Hollow with two, a big two-piece out of him. Now a two versus three, and as you said, he's able to drop it. Finds that Sog, able to get inside. I thought he was in the O for the punch, but doesn't do so. Now a two versus two. Pulls out that sniper, and now it's all on the little cells. Once again, he has that ICR, and this time it's planted for him. Noobs hopped on it. He's going to have to hop off it now. Just backs on up. Little cells plays the clock correctly, and there we go. Ties the game up two to two. The little cells may have over-challenged there for a second. Yeah, for a little bit. He seemed to know what he was doing. And secures the round for his squad there. 1v2 technically here. And first kill was crucial. And yeah, uh, it's camo. It's I don't that know what one right there. That is, but that's a cool camo. Just a lot saying. of cool camos out there. Sometimes hard to pick. I know, but I don't got that one. <laughs> I wonder if that's a zombie camo. Yo, chat, is that a zombie camo? I'm going to start grinding zombies. I'm going to see if he's got it again. He does. He has a cool camo. Beautifully, beautifully, uh, well, it's aesthetically pleasing to say the least. Let's go on board with Supreme Agility. Having a, a rough game at 0-4. Definitely going to step it on up. Him and Vicious combined 1-8. and eight. Almost finds one. And look at the pressure that you see out of Project 7. They Looks like two or three push through that A side. They're inside elevator right now. And well, who is it? It's Vivid. Able to find a kill. Make it two. Almost finds the third. Yes, Spore Kim. All right. Zombies, it is tomorrow. <laughs> Zombies all day. That's what you got to do. Sometimes grind it out for that camo. 3v3 though here. Currently 2-2. Two, two. Oh my goodness, you've seen them all. Concussion goes out. We'll be looking for the help, but doesn't have anything there. Vicious tries to follow up, isn't able to, and we're actually going to see Vicious now be left in a 1v3 here. Not a favorable position, especially when the bomb is down. He's not having a, a good game either at 0-4. Maven says he's down for zombies, just so you know. Ooh, looks like I'm not... Oh, oh sorry. So, Supreme Agility <laughs> was 8-4. and four. Seems like I'm not playing zombies tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, see... Ooh, that looks like not fun. Yeah, we'll see you later. What is that? I never looked at... Is that like a giant... What is that? Where are we? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I, I spend most of my time on the map. Not all the time, but most of my time. I do not know what I just know never looked out wide no, to I the right. <laughs> I like crazy out there. Maven's not happy at you. Yeah, no, definitely not playing zombies <laughs> if he's playing. <laughs> it's a fact. Three to two. As we get on board here with Vivid. Seven and four to his uh, kill to death ratio. And now pushing aggressively towards that B-bomb site here. Has that cluster close to a war machine as well. A heavily stacked Sorg. Tippy toeing around, trying to find a couple players. Now he's been stunned. That's sometimes what you I think pay. That's his own teammate, yeah, his own teammate stunned him, and now Dylan's able to push on up. He's able to stay alive for so long, but Dylan does find a couple of kills. Vicious, he took down his teammate, but I think he got team stunned there, and then the stun comes out of Dylan, and that is just a recipe for disaster. So now it's a two versus four, and it's looking like they're gonna tie this one up three to three. Should do, as uh, we do see the final player jump off once again. That's going to be evasion. Just want, not wanting to feed the opposition. So as it is now, 2-2 two, two in the series. 3-3 three, three in rounds here. We had a couple of you guys predicting the scores at the start. I heard uh, Project 7 round 11 victory. Will it come true? Make it known. We've got the Twitch chat right in front of us. 
You can see every single little thing. As round number seven does get underway. Who you want to watch, Phil? Uh, who have we not given a little love to? Let's go on board with... Let's go on board with Jay Destiny. He's two and four right now. Jay Destiny. Where's he at? Number four. Number four. There we go. Here he is. It's a big screen. Takes me a while. Time to shine. This is like a 200-inch screen. What can he do? Time to turn up, baby. 3v3. Ooh, that's Attack a stun five hand. Boost. That is scary. Oh, but he's still, but he gets a kill. Where's the trade? It's there out of hollow, but he gets taken down. Now a one versus two. Make it a 1v1 is hollow. Able to stay alive. Able to find a saga as well. You know you want it in his hands. Oh, vicious. 1v1. What? This is the second 1v1 we've had of this game. A lot of clutch situations around this A site. That bomb just planted. Vicious right now. One in five. Not having the best game, but this is where you can turn it around. And for Vivid, oh, it looks like he might have read this correctly. Yep, you're going to spot him in the window. But Vicious, heads up play, just going to run, run around. Try to waste some time as well. Is Vivid going to read this correctly? 20 seconds to work with. He is going to read it, but he's going to lose it as Vicious. With that, man, I still had to attack five boosts as well. A big 1v1. Sometimes stats don't say everything because right there, he was only at one in five, but able to win a big 1v1. Gives him his team the round lead. Yeah, gives him the round and gives him the lead. Uh, in the map itself, four to three right now. And that shows the importance of uh, attack five boost on a one-on-one. -on -one. What specialists are we uh, looking at here, Joe? It looks like Dylan, Vivid, and Hollow have got a couple looks as like, well. Yeah, it looks like Supreme there. Agility. I, I didn't see it, but it looks like he did use the Grav Slam. He's at 11 and 6, so he definitely popped it last round. But I didn't see it in the kill feed, so that's got to be uh, a bit of an advantage for Project 7. But as we go deeper in this game, as you said, you're going to see these invested more and more vicious. Able to spot that push. Now it's on Jay Destiny to try and stay alive. War Machine is popped by Vivid. What can he find? Can he find anything at all? He's going to pop that towards that elbow. Not able to find anything. That's going to allow his team to push on up. Puts it through the window. Does get vicious. Oh, and he's able to read agility as well as he goes on the pinch. Able to find two. Make it three. Vivid right now, 11 and 6. Having such a good game. He's really had a, a, a great series, and he finds the fourth as well. He just seems like he... he... <laughs> He's on form right now. I don't Everything know. This guy just, might just, just be a warrior, form. but this is <laughs> this is fun to watch. He is Vivid the Warrior. If he is, he's embracing it, that's for sure. Loving it. Those... Look at this. Look at this right here. Just Oof. predicts agility's gonna jump out the window. He found four that round. Four. Minimum. And then he went up on through the window. The quick shot punch. This guy's beaming. I, I we just gotta go on board with him again. Twelve and six. 300 away from the lightning strike and he's really been a catalyst for this team if project seven moves on it's going to be because of this guy most certainly isn't it's not just this map and mode that he's going off in he's been going off all night vicious out there i'm sure i heard a paladin for a second but i might have been mistaken might have been noobs noobs is one guy who, who rocks it yeah noobs has that paladin a little cells with some nice shots able to take down one the pressure though is towards this lower b site and Hollow does pop that Tempest, able to find one now with four versus two. And like I said, with Supreme Agility using that Specialist the, the round before, it doesn't look like Mazer Gaming are that close to many. Plus, Dylan used the Annihilator, so this is a huge advantage. Because look at that. You have Little Cells who's so close. You have Evasion who's close as well. Things are looking up for Project 7. Yeah, and with Graf Slam, you know, you can really be selective of where you kind of push on the offense. Maybe go toward that eight si A side and... Use it to open things up. Again, as these players, you know, not only have to be so, so good at the game, you've got to be able to read when the opposition has these. You know, whether it be a war machine, do you put flak jacket on, all these kind of crazy things. plant this or just, or just throw his life away? I think he's ready to jump. Yeah. He's going to abseil without the rope. So it looks like we're just like in some giant forest. That's what I'm getting out of this map right now. Wow, these guys are... It's like frequency is built on a... I don't even know. It's a crazy map. I like it. Sometimes you just got to look these things up, Joe. Yeah, look at that. Frequency. I'm learning Call of Duty more. Black Ops 4. Uh-huh. Well, hold on. It's round a, 10. A covert listening station deep in the mountain, mountainous region of Hunan province. Absolutely. It's being used to track strategic targets across the globe. 
I believe it. Crazy. Here we go. One player there, Crash Slam, going to be invested. There's a great first blood out of Evasion. 5v4. Anyone else really that close? It doesn't look like it, so it's going to be all guns and stuns from here on out. There's one able to spot it. Ties it back up 4-4, but look at that. The bomb being planted on the other side of the map. Plus, you have the Annihilator out of little cells. He's got to find something. Oh, Oof. he's able to hit that. The fire rate, very strong. Now with three versus two. 35 seconds for Mazel to retake this, or Project 7 is moving on into our final tonight. Oh, pushing forward. The trades go in. It's now down to just a 1v1. He's got a spot. It's got to be. It's got to be Vivi. Ooh. It's got to be Vivi. 15 kills, Phil. 15. It doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me after the way that he played the hard point, the control. We thought they were the different team in control. We thought they were major. <laughs> hey, that wasn't our fault. Yeah, yeah. However, we are going to see Vivid and the boys move forward. Of course, we'll be going to our uh, other semi-final, so we'll have to say bye to Vivid.